Hello everyone, my name is Ian Lamont. I'm the author of iPod Touch in 30 Minutes, and today I'm going to teach you a neat trick with your iPod Touch, and that's basically how to use your iPod Touch as a telephone. And you may be thinking, that's a little bit strange because iPod Touches are not the same as an iPhone. And you're right, they're not. They don't have a built-in phone function, which on the iPhone would be down here. But you can use apps to actually make telephone calls, and the app we're going to use today is called Skype. So to do this, you'll need Skype installed on your phone, uh, on your iPod Touch, and then you'll need to uh, log into it. And you'll also need to have credit on it. Um, they have something called Skype credits. If you buy it on the iPod Touch, you can buy them in $5 increments. Or you can go online to Skype.com, log into your account, and then buy a $10 um, uh, Skype credit. But let's, right now we have a, right now we have a um, $5 credit on my Skype account. And when you log in, don't go to the you don't don't go to the uh, your your address book in Skype. Rather, click on the icon at the bottom that says Call Phones, and a and a keypad will appear. And basically, um, you'll start to type in a phone number. Now, I'm going to do something wrong first to show you a mistake not to make, and that is to assume that this is like a normal cell phone, because the way you type in the numbers is actually not the same. So I'm typing in my mobile phone number. That's my Android phone right there. Oops. And you can, whoops, I made a mistake there, 383-1396. Now, that's my telephone number. However, when I press the call button, it gives me an error message. It says, that isn't a valid Skype name or phone number. And you may be thinking, well, what's going on here? That, that looks like the right format. There's the one and the area code and the telephone number. But the way Skype works is they want you to actually type in the international format for your number. So that is either, plus, you, if you're in the United States, that would be plus one or type 001, then the area code, then the number. Okay, let's call and see if, the, if my phone picks it up. It makes that funky Skype sound. It's connecting. Yep, and you can see it's calling. Now, one thing I'd like to point out, it's showing a return number in California. That's the way Skype works, but actually it's making the call. Um, I'll just answer it. Okay, they're connected right now, and it's making a weird feedback thing, so I'm going to hang it up. But you get the idea. And the Skype is very useful as an application, especially if you're traveling overseas and you don't have, want to get an expensive roaming plan. You can actually use this over Wi-Fi to make, the, to make the call. And that's one thing you should also understand. These calls are being made over Wi-Fi, not over a carrier network, because iPod Touches don't have a uh, 3G or 4G chip in them. So you have to use Wi-Fi to make the call. But that's an easy way and relatively cheap way to make international phone calls or to make, even make local phone calls using your iPod Touch. More information, uh, go, to iPod, uh, go to the official guide website. It's iPod.in30minutes.com. iPod Touch in 30 Minutes is the guide, which has lots more useful tips, tricks, and reviews of apps. Thanks very much.